Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maths on African Motives. We are still on our mathematics for grade nine and this is solving of equations. We are going to work with our algebraic equations. There are different typical or questions that you might have uh, that requires you to be solving for X, solving for whatever letter that you are given there. If you check properly, you are going to see that these are all products, products of two brackets, or maybe a term and a bracket. It's a product, all part, all about a product. So what is it about this product and why is it that is always equal to zero? That is the question. All right. Whenever we are simplifying these typical equations, whereby we put a product of two terms, being equal to zero. A can be a bracket, it can be a term, it can be a number, B can be a bracket, can be anything. As long there are two things that we are multiplying, in order for us to obtain a zero in this case, that means either one of these must be zero. So thus in this case, uh, thus either, we are going to have this condition. Uh, we're gonna have A is equal to zero or a B is equal to zero. These are the conditions that you have. As long there is a product, a product. So meaning to say, if I am given a bracket of X plus one into a bracket of X minus two being equal to zero, and I'm being asked to solve for X, solve, for x. What does it mean? It means from this concept, one of these bracket must be equal to zero or the other bracket must be equal to zero also. That's the product. Two brackets means a product. So that's either just like this part, x plus one must be equal to zero or the bracket of x minus two must give us a zero. There's no way, guys. Let's put it this way. Let's say I've got two numbers, two times a zero, that's a zero. All right, zero times a two, that's a zero. So as, as long, whether you start with a zero, or as long one of the numbers that you're multiplying is it's a zero, everything becomes a zero. As long you multiply anything by, so meaning to say, in order for you to have this zero here, it means it was supposed to be like this. This was supposed to be a zero. Zero times this, that's a, that's a zero. Or this was supposed to be a zero. Zero times this, that's a zero. So that's what we have. So what are the values of X that will make this to be a zero? Those are the ones that you are solving here. The values of X, remember we solved this type of an equation where we transpose this or where we take this to the other side of the equal sign. And I said, whenever you do this thing, whenever you take a number to the other side of the equation, whenever a number crosses the equal sign or jumps the equal sign, it changes the sign that it have here. It changes this sign, changes. So meaning to say a plus on this side, it is going to be a minus. So it is gonna be zero minus one or x is equal to a minus two on that side, it is going to be a plus. So that will be zero plus a two. So from these values, we are going to see that at the end, x will be zero minus one, which is minus one, or x is equal to zero plus two, which is a two. So these are the possible values of x that will make this whole statement to be a zero. Okay, let's start with x being a minus one. I want you to see what it simply means. So in this case, it's like this. When x is minus one, you want to prove this, just wanna prove this. When x is equal to minus one. So when x is equal to minus one, we are going to sub in place of x here, we are going to put minus one. So it's minus one plus a one into X. Remember it's minus one, wherever there's X, we're going to put minus one. So it's minus one minus a two. All right, 
This must give us a zero. Okay, minus one plus a one, that's a zero times minus one minus two, that's a minus three. So zero times minus three, that's, that's a zero. So you can see we are obtaining a zero there. Okay, let's prove again when x is two. We're going to prove when x is equal to two. So when x is equal to two, plug in wherever there's x, you're going to plug in a two there. So that's two plus a one into this bracket, which is two minus a two. In place of x, you plug in the two that you have there. Two plus one, that is a three times two minus two, that's a zero. Three times zero, that's, that's a zero. So meaning to say we are all having a zero on both conditions. When x is equal to two, that's a zero. When x is equal to minus one, everything is giving us a zero. That means truly these values of x, they are correct. So using the zero concept, so this, let us call it the zero concept as we are together here. We're gonna just call it the zero concept or the, the zero concept on product, All right? So whenever I'm saying the zero concept, you know what, what I'm talking about, all right? Uh, because as we are like this, we are now a family. So you have to understand the language that I also speak, which is also so uh, for you to understand uh, whenever I refer to those terms, you'll be, okay, this is what he's trying to say. Okay, so this is the exercise. On this exercise, you are given solve the following equations. Meaning to say we are supposed to find the values of x. From these given conditions, we are supposed to solve for x. All right. The first equation that we are given, we are given the bracket of x minus 1 into the bracket of x plus 2. This is equal to 0. And we are asked to solve for x. So I say as long there is a product of 2, the product of 2, to give us a zero, it means one of these must be a zero. So what does it mean? It means either x minus one must be equal to zero or the bracket of x plus two must be equal to zero. So that's it. Just like the previous case, you transpose the negative one to the other side of the equation. You take this um, two to the other side of the equation. So x will be equal to what? A zero plus a one, which is, which is a one. Or we are going to have here an x being equal to what? A zero minus two, that's x is going to be a minus two. So as long you're asked to solve, given these conditions, that is what you're going to apply. So they are just going to try to manipulate this and that, but you are not supposed to be tricked by any anything, guys. This is how you're supposed to answer these questions. All right, the same thing on question number six, where we are given x into the bracket. So that is x into the bracket of x minus seven is equal to zero. Still, that's a product, even though we just have x. X is just a single term, but it is multiplying this bracket. As long they are multiplying each, as long there's a multiply, as long there is a multiplication. As long there is a multiplication, one of these must be zero. So it's either x must be equal to zero or x minus seven must be equal to zero. The product, there is this term, there is this bracket. One of these must be, a, so already x is, x is a zero. So we are simply going to solve on the other part. If you transpose this to the other side, it becomes a positive. So there, x is going to be equal to zero plus a seven. So that's zero plus a seven, which is a positive seven. So these are the possible values of x that we are going to have if uh, we are given this, all right? So guys, that's how we're gonna play around this, whether they give us with a negative, like what we have on question number 10. So I want you to try all those other questions where there's a challenge, uh, let us communicate so that we can assist each other on those questions. There we are given the product of two brackets again equal to zero. So using the same concept, it's either we are going to refer this, the minus x to be equal to zero or the bracket of x minus six to be equal to zero. 
So that bracket, we can even just write as x minus 6 like that. The product of these two must be a 0. So what is the value of x? If I divide by negative 1, whenever there's a negative, it means there is a negative 1. So I divide by negative. So x is equal to 0 divided by any number. It's a 0. So that is going to give us a 0. All right. We transpose uh, or we take this minus 6 on the other side of the equation. It becomes a plus 6. So that is going to be 0 plus 6, which is a positive 6. So x is equal to is equal to a 6. So that is uh, how it can be like. That is how these questions can be like. Uh, so I'm not going to waste much uh, time on this part. As you can see, this is just a repetition throughout. Uh, throughout. So number 14, don't be scared there. We've got a negative 7 into the bracket of x plus 7 uh, into x minus uh, 2 into x minus 2 like this equal to 0. So this negative 7, it is a product of this. We can even remove this negative 7 by dividing by this negative. So if you're given a number outside like a 4, this minus, this minus 2, uh, divide by these numbers, remove them outside, remove them, remove these numbers. So you can remove them by mod by dividing the product. So these cancels, that's zero divided by negative. Both these are numbers. You can say negative seven is equal to zero. That one is impossible. There's nothing there. Negative seven cannot be equal to zero. So you just cancel. So you're just left with this uh, zero divided by a number. Like I said, that's, that's a zero, all right? Uh, so meaning to say, in this case, we are just left with the two brackets now. As you cancel this, you are left with a bracket. As usual, the bracket of x plus 7, the bracket of x minus 2, which is equal to 0. So for numbers, just cancel those numbers. Divide by that number. It does not have any effect. So either this bracket now is equal to 0 or this bracket is equal. That is where we can apply our concept. Either x plus 7 is equal to 0 or the bracket of x minus 2 must be equal to 0. So what will be the value of x? Transpose this 7 to the other side. Also, the minus 2 to the other side, x is going to be what? Minus 7, all right? Or our x is going to be a positive 2. That's 0 plus 2. So these are the possible values of x. So don't be afraid of these numbers that you're seeing outside of the bracket, like I said. So I want you to try as many questions as you can uh, so don't be scared with these numbers that you see there. Uh, it's not even a matter of fact. But on number 23, if you had to check there, it's minus 3x like this. Minus 3x into minus 3 plus x is equal to 0. So on this one, there is no need for us to even divide by this negative 3 because this one, it's a term. Remember, a product means a term, a product of uh, a number and a letter. It gives us a term. So this is a single term. So whenever we refer to what is outside of the bracket, we take this as it is. So meaning to say we can apply the zero concept because that's a product there. So from our zero concept, the product of two to give us a zero, it means one of these must be equal to zero. One of these must be equal to zero. So if minus 3x is equal to 0, what about the value of x? Now we can divide by minus 3 since it's a product. We want to remove this minus 3 that is multiplying to x. You are left with x, uh, which is equal to 0 divided by negative 3, which is a 0. Remember I said uh, a 0 divided to any number. That's a 0. On this case, we can transpose the negative 3 on the other side of the equation since we want to remain with this x. So that means in that case, our x is going to be minus 3 on the other side. It becomes a positive. That's 0 plus 3, which is a 3. Just like that. Just like that. So guys, like I said, try as many questions as you can. Uh, if you check on number 31, we are given uh, there to solve for x on number 31. We are given x into the bracket of 2x plus uh, 6 squared, which is equal to 0. Whenever you work with these questions where there's a squared, a squared simply means you are multiplying that times 2. 
like you're not playing that uh, that that given part by itself. If you're given three squared, three multiplies itself. So if I'm given x squared, it means x by x. So if I'm given x plus three squared, it means x plus three into x plus three. That part that is being squared multiplies itself. So what does it mean? It means simply here there is there are two brackets of two x plus six. So it was supposed to be like this: x into the bracket of 2x plus 6, all right, into the bracket of 2x plus 6, into the bracket again of 2x plus 6. This is equal to 0. That is what it means. A product of the same bracket, same bracket is multiplying itself. That's a squared. So if it is to the exponent of 3, we're going to have it another again, another bracket there. All right, anyways. From this concept, the, the product concept is not going to be limited, no. Even if there are three terms being multiplied, A times B times C to give us a zero, it means it's either A is equal to B or uh, is equal to zero, or B is equal to zero, or C is equal to zero. The zero concept is not limited. As long it's a product, as long is a product. So what does it mean? Either this must be equal to zero, or this must be equal to zero, or this must be equal to zero. Everything must be equated to zero. All right, so let's see. So if x is equal to zero, or 2x plus 6 is equal to zero, or another bracket of 2x plus 6 is equal to zero, what will be the possible values of x? So here already, x is equal to zero. We have to solve this one. Uh, if we are to transpose uh, the positive 6 on this side, it becomes a negative. So 2x is going to be equal to 0 minus 6, which is a minus 6. Then we divide by 2, since it's a product here, divide by 2 by 2, x is equal to minus 3. But as you can see, the same equation that we solved is the same equation that we're going to solve because they are the same. So we are going to simply transpose just like that part we divide Again, by 2, by 2, then we are going to have our x as a minus 3. So as you can see, we are having solutions which are the same. x, which is equal to a 0, or x, which is equal to minus 3, and also equal to the same minus 3. So just one and the same x in this one and this one. So you can even... You have it as x is equal to negative 3 twice. There are two solutions. So it's like... Uh, if you represent on a solution on that case, you have a consideration like uh, this on a on a quadratic function. Uh, when you're dealing, guys, okay, mm, you are still in grade nine. Just know that those are your solutions, all right? You, we shall talk about this later. Uh, what exactly is happening when we are working with a curve which has got um, uh, solutions like that? further in your grade 10, 11, and so on. So more to come from Maison African Motives till we meet again.